I, you can see what I did. I went ahead and mounted that frame here. Then I went on the outside and I actually cut where my pieces went to. And then I went ahead and took uh, some more pieces of this uh, 1x4 and I actually screwed that onto the back of the plastic back there so that it's sandwiched in now. And everything is uh, good to go. So as soon as we get this raised up, I'm fixing to install the back of this. As soon as I get that raised up and get that temporary pipe, we'll be in business and ready to rock with some heat in here. I am gonna. I do have a couple more pieces of Duroc. I'm gonna have to stand up back here um, temporarily uh, so that the heat doesn't travel back that far. But yeah, I think we should be in good shape. I'll be happy when I get that nail gun. Well, I take that back. I am happy. I just meant I want this battery operated because that'll be great. Okay, now we can slide this Duroc over here. and have something to screw to. Like I said guys, this is just temporary because um, I still have to put on the interior of the wall and um, I have to put on the exterior too. So I'm just kind of getting this, like I said, rigged up temporarily so that I can have heat in here. So this is going to change a little bit. What's on the floor won't change, but I'm going to have to put some siding behind this, uh, that T111 that I was talking about, and then I will put this over the top of that so that I can rock around it. This brings it out a half inch away from the wall, what I'm doing here.
Hey everyone, welcome back to the outpost. I've worked pretty much all day trying to get that flue set uh, and in through the roof and get it cut and get it um, permanent. The only thing that's not permanent, I'm waiting on some help to get here. I've got to lift the stove up. I'm going to set it on some blocks uh, to get it up off the floor. And I need to pour a pad that's about eight inches high, a square pad to set the uh, stove on just so that it's not sitting all the way down where you got to bend over and uh, pretty much all the way to the ground to load it with wood. Um, but I don't want to pour concrete in less than 40 degree weather, so I'm going to wait till spring. So I figured I'd go ahead and set it up on blocks and uh, I'll make the connection in there. We'll, we're going to slide it in, make the connection down there inside the house. That way I can have heat um, throughout the next um, 10, 12 weeks, whatever we have left of winter. But that'll be nice. I'll be able to, um, and for the puppy too, I'll be able to uh, build a fire in there and have uh, some heat while I'm working on framing those exterior walls and then once I start putting the siding up um, you know it should be relatively comfortable in there um, during the day until I can get some insulation and start finishing the walls on the inside but but I'm going to go down here and pick up my tools and all the scraps and material that I've got laying down here uh, while I wait on the guys to get here so that we can lift that stove up and get it uh, buttoned up to the flue on the inside of the house. Okay, this block that I've got sitting out here, that's how high the stove is gonna come up. So, in other words, you see where that's sitting right there? The top of my stove is actually gonna come to right about here. That gets it up off of the floor where it's easier, you don't have to really bend over as far to put wood in. The other thing too is that metal's gonna get hot on the bottom so temporarily, I'm setting it on this block, or some blocks, and then what I'll do is, when I get ready to, next spring, actually pour a foundation for this, I'll set the blocks in a little bit closer, where I can let the um, concrete roll down over the side of it, and give me at least a one inch cap on the top of it, because I allowed for that up there as well. And um, then that will be the base for the stove to sit on. And then all the rest of it around on the bottom is, like I said before, is going to get rock. I'm going to put a 2x2 two two lip all the way around the corner here because I'll have another finished floor up on top of this. And then the rocks, that will give me um, about an inch. What have you got on your face? That'll give me about... Um, an inch and a quarter, inch and, inch and a half to play with um, as far as my stone and my mortar. Um, the back wall is going to get the same. Actually, there'll be another piece up on top of that, but I wasn't going to do that. I, I just needed something on the bottom temporary to, for the, from the heat that comes from this so that it doesn't melt the plastic. And that allows me to actually go through the wall now. This screen right here, I don't know. Remember if I showed the screen but it actually goes on the inside when you open the doors to allow you to uh, leave the doors open and actually look at the fire. So, uh -uh, don't you chew on that. It's really nice. It's a pretty heavy duty screen too. So, I'm happy to kind of get that situated there. Like I say, I, I do need to get a couple of sticks of pipe and run that out, but um, what are you chewing on? Huh? What are you chewing on? I'm not sure if he's chewing on this concrete or not. Um, anywho, but yeah, that's going to be really nice. So. Guys, we hope you have a great evening. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up at the outpost again next time.